Egyptian pharaohs were likely the first to have molds made of their bodies and the images cast. Today, anyone can have this done. The experts have it down to a fine art. It's called life casting or body molding, and it's in demand because every body is different. Need a body double? Life casting creates replicas of body parts that can be used as personal mementos or movie props. They start by applying cold cream to the body part. The cream will serve as a release agent, allowing the mold to be removed whole. This orange goop is the molding material. It's a seaweed-based substance called alginate. It's the same stuff the dentist uses to take molds of teeth, but it's formulated to set more slowly. The life caster spreads the alginate liberally onto this young actor's clenched fist and arm. Alginate cures in five or six minutes, so there's no time to waste. He works at a steady pace. He applies wet plaster bandages to the alginate. The bandages adhere and form a stiff shell similar to a cast for a broken limb. The cast-like shell supports the alginate as it cures to the shape of the boy's fist to produce a mold of it. When cured, the alginate has a firm yet rubbery consistency. It takes a few tugs to pull off the mold, but the rubbery nature of the alginate means it can be done without cracking or crumpling. The casting material is durable dental plaster. He pours it into the mold. He tips out a bit to get rid of bubbles that have accumulated on the surface. It's hands off now as the plaster cures because a chemical reaction makes it dangerously hot. A half hour later, the plaster is cooled and hardened into the shape of the boy's fist. The plaster has picked up all the little details, including the tiniest of creases. He picks out bits of alginate lodged in the creases. He defines the fingernails and cleans up a few pits and bubbles. This is the actor's real hand, and this is the replica. Next, they make a mold of the actor's face. They apply cream to his hair to prevent it from becoming stuck in the alginate. The team completely coats his face, ears, and upper chest with blue alginate. It must be hard not to wince, but he can't budge in order to create a good impression. They leave the back of his head uncovered for an open mold and create two small holes for breathing. They layer the plaster bandages over the alginate to give structure to the mold. It also makes him look mummified. After several minutes, the mold has solidified. The team removes it from the subject. Now that his features have been successfully transferred to the alginate, he can breathe easy. The life caster trims excess alginate, then wraps fabric around the mold to build a kind of wall to contain spills as he fills it with plaster. The plaster casting may not be the final one. Depending on the client's wishes, they may make a mold from this bust and then cast the image in a more flesh-like material like silicone, foam, or rubber. The plaster is cured and the wait is over. It's time to peel off the layers and find the face within. It's a bit like he's removing an intricate mask. The face behind it is instantly recognizable. He cleans up the eyes and nose. and scrubs the entire plaster face. Here's the actor and his plaster doppelganger. They'll use it to create a silicone version and once it's painted and given hair, it will be ready for the movies.
Thank you.